We have internet, we had some snow the other day, and I took the screw tank out, and we had a lovely time. Now, I did say in my top comment, is there any other of my vehicles that I've made that you think I should also take out in the snow? And somebody had a fantastic idea. They said, Furs, get your drift trike, put spikes on the rear wheels, swap the front wheel for a ski, and I'm like, that is fantastic. So that's what we're gonna do. Yes, I've just noticed my shirt needs ironing. Welcome to the Colin Furs channel. <laughs> Oh, these things are so awesome. This one's been thrashed up and down airfields and all over the place. It's had ex-Formula One driver Martin Brundle ride it. I've made an electric version, which I took to Rome and went around the Formula E track. And in the first lockdown, I showed you how you could make one without a welder, just bolting it all together. So what we're gonna do is, right, front wheel's coming out. We need to put a ski in. And luckily enough, I have a ski. I have had this knocking around this house for about 10 years. I saw someone go to chuck it out in a dust cart and I was like, you're not throwing that out, I'll have it. And it's just been getting in the way for ages. But no, today we're actually gonna use it. And then I've got these little shock absorber bits which will kind of sit down the back somehow because you have to kind of keep the ski like facing upwards all the time and then it kind of moves around. Right, and then of course we've got to put some spikes sticking out of the drift sleeves. Pretty simple really. Let's get cracking. Suspension feels about right. I've added a skid plate, spikes look lovely. Now then, this used to be one of the safest machines I've ever made. You could be tearing down a runway, you could spin it at high speed, you pretty much couldn't flip it. But now, I've got a spiky thing which could jab into the ground. The skid plate could actually chop my feet off, and then if I do fall off it, I've got a load of spikes on the wheels which can tear my skin and arms to pieces. It's kind of got a little bit more furs, hasn't it? Right, we need a test, we need some snow. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is a machine. I think we need a snow dance. <laughs>
GoPro down, however, it is actually still recording. Unbelievable. Oh dear, we've snapped the chain. If anything, it's got too much grip, but it does work. What a machine. Okay, made some adjustments. We fixed the chain and we've like ground off the central bolts because they were quite tall. I think it only had too much grip, so we'll see how we go on with this. All right. Okay, and I. No mud guards, stuff flying everywhere. Drift ski! Hey, what an adaption. Now, this thing worked exactly as I hoped it would. The only thing we had to play around with was the grip levels. Now, naturally, anything with three wheels and no differential doesn't want to steer, but of course, when they're drift trikes, they have no rear grip, you can just steer them on the power. But of course, this thing has got grip, and it's got so much grip, it caught me out, because the first time I pulled away on it, I shot off the back. If you want to see more drift trikes, I've done loads of these on my channel. I've done jet powered ones, I've done electric ones, of course there's this one, the petrol one, and of course if you want to make your own, I've even done a tutorial video how you can make one with no welder, the whole thing all bolts together. And if you do make your own one, you can get Colin First sticker kits on the Colin First shop. <laughs> there we are, that's drift trikes, that's no skis, ski trikes, ski drifts, can't remember what I've called it. Excellent. Subscribe, see you in the next video. Boom.